And how this happens is the iron sulfide will be kind of floating or like the FES, so iron and sulfur, they'll be bonded together and just floating in the water. And in order to make pyrite, as we just barely saw, in order to make pyrite, it needs to have two, one iron and two sulfur. So when microorganisms are hanging out in the water and just this is available, but then there's sulfur, kind of some extraneous sulfur that's bonded to hydrogen. The microorganisms will eat the hydrogen away from the other sulfur, freeing that sulfur atom to bond with this little piece, thus creating the pyrite formula. So that I think is really, really interesting. It's not always a biological process, but it can be mediated is the, is the term by, bio, by microorganisms, which I think is just so cool about pyrite.